How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video here. Um, a friend of mine had asked me if I could do a prank key for him. And what a prank key is, to me, what I understand he told me, is you weld a car key, or you braze a car key, in a screwdriver. So what I did is I went out and I bought a screwdriver, just a cheapy screwdriver, and I got a spare key for my garage. And I got some brazing rods. I got my uh, torches all set up over there. It's been such a long time since I brazed. I wasn't sure whether I could do this or not. So what I did is I practiced on one uh, just to see because you're brazing brass to steel, and you got to get the steel hot uh, hot enough to braze the brass to it, and it takes longer to get the steel hot than it does the brass. So it's a little tricky. But I did one, and I'll show you what it looks like, uh, just on a steel rod. And this is just a junk key, uh, goes to nothing. But I wanted to see if I could do it without melting the brass of the key before I got it brazed on. So let me show you up close what I got to work with, and then we'll get started on our prank key. Okay, first of all, I wanted to show you guys this key. This is the one I just done and it doesn't look too bad uh, I got a little too hot on it and it started melting the key the key just started dripping over so I slowed the heat down and I finally got it back in where I needed it but I actually had to take it to the vise or over to the uh, anvil and just tap it back into place because it bent it you can see how it bent it right here so I think this is going to be a tricky thing to do uh, I mean, if I'm sure there's guys out there who could weld these things up uh, by the hundreds and wouldn't have any problem at all. But uh, me, I'm not that good. I haven't brazed since I was a little kid, so uh, brazing's something I didn't do a lot of. But I think we're going to be getting into it in the garage more often, uh, trying it out, maybe on Julie's crafts and stuff like that. Uh, so now here's the key I'm going to be using. This is. Just picked it up. It's a brand new key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out there and stick it in my lock in the garage. And then I'm going to push it all the way in, unlock the garage, and then I'm going to mark this key so I know not to get the metal to go down over too far. Because if you get it too far down the sides, if this metal goes down the sides too far, it's not going to fit in your lock. So you have to have just enough in there to uh, unlock the door. So, that's the key we're going to be using. Cheapy, cheapy screwdriver, dollar something. Uh, brazing rods, I got uh, I got a whole container of brazing rods. I haven't had them, haven't used it for years. So I figured that'd be good to have. They're Hobart, I got them from Tractor Supply. Um, so, that's what we got to work with uh, to get this project done. And I, I think it'll be okay, but hey, you never know. Like I said, when you weld brass to steel, you have to get the steel hotter than the brass, and they're both connected together. So hopefully we can do this without a big mess. Okay, I got my key. Uh, I checked it out. It's dark outside. I took you guys out there. It's like 4.30 in the morning, but um, as you can see, it's not going to go. There's two lines right there where the key stops. I can't go any further than them two lines. I put a little black on there so you could see it. But um, those two lines right there, I can't go any deeper than that. So now we got to go over here and we're going to get our screwdriver cut off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that just a little bit long in case I goofed it up. Um, it's going to leave it a little bit long. Uh, maybe cut it right in here somewhere. But we do have to watch because when we heat this up, we don't want to melt the handle. So, you know, it might be a case where we might want to wrap a uh, wet rag around the handle to try to keep this cool while we're getting this hot. But I'm just going to chop it off about right there and probably could do it twice if we had to. Okay, we got the, the screwdriver almost done. We got it chopped off and cleaned up there a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the key. Now, I'm not going to personally use all of this key. I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece here off, right here. And then I'm going to cut some of this down the sides. 
just a little bit. I'm going to chop it off because I can clean it up once I get it welded on my screwdriver. So, or brazed onto the screwdriver. So, we'll go ahead and get this piece, top piece, cut off. Now I don't think you're going to need a, a chop saw to do that or a 4 inch grinder. You probably could do that with just a hacksaw. So that's all we got now. I'll, right there is what we got now. I'll take it over to the sander and we'll clean it up a little bit. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of shaping the key, uh, the sides of it, cleaning them up a little bit. Because we don't need that big bump on there. We want that to go on the screwdriver. Alright, I just cleaned up both edges, so uh, that'll be clean enough, uh, should be clean enough to braze too. So now I gotta work on the screwdriver again. Okay, I got the screwdriver marked about how deep I wanna go. I really don't have to go that deep, but we'll see what happens. I'm using a 4 inch grinder, it's got a little wider blade, but for this process, you probably could use a hacksaw or just a Dremel tool if you have one. Hopefully got that partially in the center of that. Which it looks like I got a little bit crooked, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, that key's pretty crooked. I'm not happy with that, so that's why I left a little bit longer. We're gonna go ahead and chop that off and do it over again. This time I'm gonna try to get lined up a little better in this direction so I can get a better, straighter cut. You know, if you're not happy with something, just redo it. It's steel, and we left enough for this just in case. So. We're going to chop it off and do it again. That looks much better. Alright, that's what our key looks like. Now I tapped that down in there with a hammer. But you don't want to damage your key, so don't beat too hard on it. Just tap it down in there the best you can. We're going to go ahead and put this guy in the vise. Oh, we don't want to destroy our handle on our screwdriver either. We want it to look nice. And I got, oh, this is a really, really wet rag. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to kind of wrap this around this thing. Hopefully, we can keep that handle from getting too hot so it doesn't melt it. So, right here is where we want to braise out on that tip. So now, you guys got to bear with me because I'm not real good at the brazing. I'm going to try to get you guys in where you can see. And we're going to give her a shot. <clears throat> oh, like I said, it's been a long time since I've brazed. So, and this is just a little tricky uh, doing this because you don't want to get that key too hot where it melts. But you guys might just see me melt the key. And we're going to use as least amount of heat as we have to here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Just want to make sure you guys can see. I think you can see it pretty well. Hard to get your focus too. So I'm going to bring the heat up from down here. I'm going to start down here and heat this up as I go. It's going to get hotter up there because that's thinner metal. And if I'm doing this wrong, you guys just kind of correct me. Uh, in the comments will be fine. Uh, I'm just trying to get enough heat that it'll braise it. I don't want to melt it. So you see how hot the key is getting. i got to get that brass hot enough to get down in there. See, I lost part of the key over there, but we're going to keep going here and see if we can get it. 
I think we're okay there. We're gonna grind that part of the key off anyhow. This part over here we're gonna grind off so it looks like the screwdriver, but I think we did pretty good. You can see that got all that got hot. So I'm gonna turn that screw or the thing over. I'm gonna let that cool just a little bit. I'm gonna do the other side. I think I'm okay though. It doesn't look too bad. I think we're gonna be alright with that. So we're gonna go ahead and heat this side up. Probably should let that cool just a little bit. And then uh I don't think I'll hurt. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that side done now. It's tricky because you're melting brass. Uh, you're doing brass here. I need to keep that heat. You're trying to melt brass on there and Melting brass to brass. Trying to keep the heat away from the key a little bit. But I got that crazy rag. I think we got it. I think we're okay there. I think I got enough down there. Let me see, get the tip of that a little bit there. Well, if I melt that tip off, I'm gonna be disgusted. I think we got it. I think we're good. I'm gonna let that cool off a little bit, and then we're gonna clean it up and start grinding it, and hopefully it opens the door. You can hear that in there, it's sizzling. Didn't wanna melt the handle. Okay, what I was doing there is just cleaning it up where the brass was sticking out. That looks pretty good. That could be done with a file. A file would cut it easy because it's just brass. So I'm going to finish cleaning it up and we'll see if it works. Probably should have took it over there and tried it in a door before I... Started cleaning it, but <clears throat> that'll be all right. Let's go try it. Let's see if it works. We actually got it in there pretty straight. Uh, I, I I know of one problem you would have uh, doing this, and I, I guess they want this to put in your car, and you know somebody thinks you it's kind of a prank. Uh, you think you stole the car because you got a, a screwdriver, and then you pull it out and you got a key. But uh, <clears throat> anyhow, let's go try it in the the door and see what happens. Okay, here's the big test. Locks and unlocks my door. It'll work. It works. Cool. Well, the prank key turned out fairly decent. Um, this one here didn't turn out quite as well. But anytime I uh, am going to do a project for somebody other than myself, I want to practice to make sure I do the best job that I possibly can for this person. And uh, I think I got enough confidence that I can do one for a car. I just don't want to screw it up. You know what I mean? Because a car key is probably a little bit more expensive. And most car keys today have chips in them. I'm not sure how you do this with a chip in it. But I'm sure we could figure it out. There's got to be a way we could do it. But um, I do think this turned out okay. And uh, I sure wouldn't want to use a good screwdriver because you're going to hack it up. One thing you have to know about this thing, if you stick it in that lock and you bend it, it's probably going to, it could break off there. It's just brass on the end. you got a steel handle, a lot of leverage. So you have to just be careful with it when you use it. Or you're going to bend it up and break it off and all your work's done for nothing. So... This was a garage key uh, for my garage, so I uh, made this so when the kids come and they need it in the garage and they don't have their key, I'll give them this thing and make sure I get it back. So, uh, pretty cool. Anyhow, uh, I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. 
Until next time.